world's longest sea bridge is now officially open for traffic in China. It took almost a decade to build the HZMB bridge, which spans 34 miles connecting Hong Kong and Macau to mainland China. The critics point to the project's huge costs and the reported 18 lives lost during construction. Ben Tracy is at the bridge in Hong Kong. The bridge opened this morning and it could cut travel times between certain cities from three hours to about 30 minutes. But a lot of people here in Hong Kong don't see this as a good thing. They see it as the Chinese government tightening its grip on this former British colony. The official opening of the world's longest sea bridge is a major achievement for China and its president, Xi Jinping. <laughs> Building the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge was one of the most challenging and costly infrastructure projects in the world. It spans China's Pearl River Delta, connecting Hong Kong, the gambling mecca of Macau, and nine other cities in southern China with nearly 70 million people. The bridge is made of more than 400,000 tons of steel. It's as long as nearly 20 Golden Gate bridges. Two artificial islands were built to link underwater tunnels for vehicles so ships can still pass through the busy seaway. It cost nearly $20 billion, and Hong Kong taxpayers were stuck with 60% of the bill for a bridge many of them will never use. Hong Kong, Hong Kong resident Rebecca Ko says it's meaningless for normal Hong Kongers. We rarely go to mainland China. Hong Kong, a former British colony, operates under a different system from the mainland. It allows certain rights such as freedom of speech, assembly, and the press. But Beijing is exerting more control here and cracking down on dissent. The new bridge, as well as a newly opened $11 billion bullet train that links Beijing and Hong Kong, are seen by many as infrastructure propaganda. Claudia Mo is a Hong Kong politician. They still need it as a political uh, symbol or icon uh, to remind Hong Kong people that uh, you are connected uh, to the motherland with this uh, very grand bridge. Isaac Stonefish is a senior fellow with the Asia Society. A lot of people in Hong Kong are worried that the direction it's going in is bad for them, bad for freedom, and bad for this idea of a distinctive Hong Kong. Whether people here like it or not, this bridge is going to be around for a long time. It is designed to withstand multiple natural disasters and last for 120 years. For CBS This Morning, Ben Tracy, Hong Kong. No doubt an engineering marvel, but at an expense, too. Loss of 18 lives, Ben. Thank you.